around two and a half million customers a week put one of these into their baskets during the British lettuce season. Within 48 hours of leaving the farm, it can be in your fridge. We couldn't do it without farmers up and down the country. And we're proud to be British Agriculture's number one customer. When a lettuce is ready, you've got a window of about, say, two to four days before you have to harvest it. So timing is critical. Particularly this morning with the frost, we had to wait until we could harvest. Occasionally you will get a spike and then you, you run around, uh, but you meet the order. It's, it's, I think that's the fun of the game. Lettuce sales go up at the start of the week, as millions of us vow to be healthy after the weekend. And we eat a lot more when it's hot. A 10 degree increase in temperature means a 45% rise in lettuce sales. Our largest period will be about May, June, when the customer thinks, winter's over, I want a barbecue, I want to start eating salads. But that's when we see the highest demand for the year. With the quality checks done, next stop is the depot. Over the past five years, Tesco has cut around 83 million miles as part of our commitment to become a zero carbon business by 2050. But traffic can still get in the way. Each of the depots, and, and this is a good example, you'll see the room that we're in here now, are able to monitor real live traffic information. We're in communication with all of our drivers so that we can talk to them and they can feed back to us when they have problems with getting into our stores and we can change the routes. One of the things that customers say to us about Tesco is, I can trust it. If I want a bottle of water, I go to Tesco because they have it. So if we let them down, then we're not doing what we're here for. We've spent 15 years developing our store ordering system, all so that we can get exactly the right amount of products on the shelf for our customers. It means that we can cut down food waste and that means that we can keep our prices low. Now this may look like an ordinary store, but there are no customers and no checkout tills. It's one of our dot-com stores where staff pick orders for our online customers. You might have thought it was all done by machines, but we prefer the personal touch. Am I in your way? Hello. Meet Sharon. <laughs> she makes sure it's as good as if you picked it yourself. One, two, three, four. Gales. Blossom, honey, clear. I don't look at my pick rate because the customer should have what they want. Even if your order is dispatched first thing in the morning, you can still change it up until quarter to midnight the night before, so there's often some last-minute shopping going on here. It's drivers like Delford who get it to your front door. One thing I find interesting about this job, what I love, is that your horizons broaden. You venture to places and this discovery and interacting with a lot of new people. This is it. Hello, good afternoon. Hi. I'm the driver today, Delford's my name. Where would you like to shop in? I'm in the kitchen. Thank you. Okay, right. You take care now, yeah? Uh -huh. All right. From West Sussex Farm to number 154A, this is how we get fresh British lettuce to millions of our customers.